Our top story here at five, a school bus with 20 students on board struck by another car in St. Louis County this morning. Now half of them were taken to the hospital. Our Tim Blotz is in our live center right now with the very latest. Tim, scary situations here. here. So what do we know? Well, here's what we do know. This happened on the way to Cherry School just before 8 o'clock this morning. Now the State Patrol says this crash happened at the intersection of Highway 5 and Town Line Road. This is near Hibbing. The driver of a Toyota RAV4 drove through the stop sign and hit the bus, and the force of that crash completely rolled the bus. A witness called Hibbing Police, saying that the children were crawling out of it. The St. Louis County School Superintendent says nearly two dozen students were on board, ten of them were taken to hospitals in Hibbing and Virginia. In fact, here's how the St. Louis County Undersheriff described the response. You hear that initial call go out and you know it involves children ranging from, you know, kindergarten to potentially 12th grade. And my heart just goes out to, you know, to the, to the parents because there, there's that moment of time where you don't know what, how, you know, is your kid injured, is, is he not? So, um, we just sympathize with what they go through until they get that information and know where to find their child. Luckily, it uh, doesn't sound like any of these injuries were, uh, you know, no fatals and stuff. So, uh, lucky today. Okay, we now have updated information that the 10 students admitted to hospitals had minor to moderate injuries. Rescue crews had to extract the driver of that Toyota from her vehicle. She is a 19-year-old woman from Alburn, Minnesota, and she was critically injured. The crash also injured the bus driver, but he'll be okay. Now, the head of the state patrol released a statement saying that the school bus crash in Hibbing was a traumatic and stressful experience for everyone involved. We are here to support the crash victims, their families, and the community during this difficult time. And the colonel also thanked the bystanders who rushed to the scene along with emergency responders to all help. Amy? Wow, incredible. Yeah. Thank you, Tim.